Hello, my name is Sam Isaac and today I am doing a <clears throat> tutorial for this young lady. I was happened to be in a Facebook group and I noticed they had this text effects. Um, the name said Julia and it had some stripper pole dancers in it and I looked at it thought about it for a day or two how I would do the design and it's the easiest way to be replicated in Illustrator so this is what I'm about to show you guys how I would attack this all right let's um to start this text effect we need to get the actual fonts for this program and I'm gonna go to the font actually they're not fonts they're called dingbats um, these were like pole dancers. So if I go to thefont.com and I come all the way over where it says sexy, I click on sexy and butte marks that has a pole dancer in it. That's cool. So I can use butte marks. So I'll download this one. And I think I have, and these are these other two <coughs> <coughs> that can be downloaded. <coughs> okay, let me <coughs> install this <coughs> on my Mac. Install. Okay, while we're at it, we need to be inside of Illustrator. The fonts installed. So let me get Illustrator going. Thought I pushed the button to get it going, but I didn't. Illustrator's opening up. I can close this screen. And we'll just wait for Illustrator. open up I have a lot of fonts on my machine so that's what makes Illustrator so slow to pop up and I also have double screens and I need it to pop on this side okay so we're gonna start a new file and I'm just going to open up, since it's for a t-shirt, a 12 by 12, and I'll have it in portrait. So we create. Okay, boom, we open up the page. I like to show my rulers, don't know why, always been designing like that. Okay, and the font that they used was a nice, bold font. So let me slide this screen over a little bit, get the text tool. And the name is Julia, so we're gonna do it in all caps. Let me just, J-U-L-I-A. That was what I saw on the screen. So now, I'm, that's not the font that I like. We need a nice bold font, and I think I have one. It's called the bold. Let's type it in. 
the bold font. Let's just get it to where we need it. I just keep clicking. I want this very, very big. Because we need the screen to see the size. Okay. Okay. Now, for this, this is what it's going to look like going across the t-shirt. But it had pole dancers here, here, maybe here, here. And they had some type of artwork. They got rid of that part in the A. So, with further ado, we can't work on this the way this is because this is a text file. We need the, to create outlines to make this like a smart object. And that's basically what we'll do. So, I'll go up to type. And we'll press create outlines. And if I press the type tool, I can no longer edit it. No longer can edit that. If I click on this, uh, we're going to ungroup all the letters. And we're going to fix the spacing up. I'm a little... I like things a little neater. Okay. Now how I did that, I clicked on the letter and I just hit the arrow to the left button. And if I that was too far away, but the between the U and the L is bringing a little it's more, looks neater from the top the spacing this looks better. Okay. Now for this to work we got one more change. We're going to drag and select all the letters again. And we're going to change this color to red. It'll be easier to work with. Okay. Now I'm going back to the text tool. And I'm going to get my dingbats for the stripper. I'm going to put this on the page. Um, and the dingbats were... Pole dance. So now, what we'll do is we'll hit an A. See, nah, I don't like that one. See, with B, each letter has a different matter of fact. Let's drag this down the page. So each letter, if I go A, B, C, I'll show you. A, B, C, they're different. Okay, so let's go D, E. Okay, that's cool, we use the F. We'll delete this one. Now, this is still a text, but we can't use it. So we have to go back and we have to create an outline. This is a cumbering task, but this is well worth it for this design. Okay, I'm going to hold. I'm going to use this selection tool and then you have a direct. I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to click on the artwork and I'm going to hold the shift key and from the corner I'm going to push up and it's going to get smaller. Now I'm going to pick this object up. It's still a little bit big. And you're going to see where I'm going with this. That looks cool. Now, mind you, 
that's an object within an object. If I put it, this won't cut out properly on a cutter if I do it this way. And also what I want to do, the effect is I want the letters in one color and I want the the characters or strippers or whatever they're going to be in the letters. I want them just to appear as the same color as a t-shirt. And this is called a knockout. Well, this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to drag over. It can only do one letter at a time because we're going to subtract this area out and we'll get difficult and it's quirky. So this is the way. So we go to the Pathfinder. I'll close the Pathfinder and open it up so you guys can see. The Pathfinder is right here under Window in Illustrator. And it opens up. And this tool right here is minus the front. So I'm going to click on that. Now you saw what happened. Now my... Now the dashboard shows it as being white. Now if I move this over, just so you can see it real quick, is if this gray was the t-shirt, this is what it would be. If I change this to a green font, this font right here, if I change this to green and I put it on a gray shirt, that's what it would look like, okay? Just for speed, I don't want this tutorial to take forever, so let's get it back. Line it up. Okay, we're going to go with the next letter. So now, we have pole dancers. And there should be something, another dingbat under sexy. Let's type in A, B, C. Okay, we can work with C, D. This is an E. Okay, let's do an E. We get an E. We click on it. We have to use the direct selection tool. You know, actually, I can size it up already. Then I can just go, that save us time. And we hit create the outlines. And we put it right there. It's in line. Center it. Let's grab another. We go A, B, C. Yeah, I said C was cool, but we'll throw a C in there. Same thing. We leave it highlighted, hold the shift key, shrink it down. there we create outline okay we're gonna do one letter at a time we group the U and the two females in there and we go back to the pathfinder and we're gonna minus out that shape and it should turn white if done correctly. You can do this in Silhouette Studio with same ease. I don't remember the tools to use, but I'm going to see if I can figure out this tutorial in Silhouette Studio as well. Because I think more of you guys use that in Illustrator. Okay, let's get another female. We could start with the F. F G Let's go to G We 
create we select that make sure we come down to create type create outlines okay we pull this down like this and there we go now let's get another pole Let's try the I key. Okay, that'll work. A little bit smaller. there we select that now we're gonna go back to type we're gonna come down and we're gonna create an outline and we're gonna select this letter and then if there was a faster way of doing this all at one shot I would do it but the problem is when you use a pathfinder, it will cut all the other letters out and just leave the J. Okay, let's go back. And we're going to get another. Let's see what P is. We can work with the P. This is going to be a little bit different this time around because I'm going to put it right here. We come back to type. We do create outlines. We select that. Oh, and we minus the front out from the pathfinder and I'm gonna undo that one we're gonna do a little bit of surgery to this a That's already a shape, so it's fine. So we're gonna come find this. We're gonna change the color. Now we're gonna put this dancer in and we're gonna make it bigger. A has to be, it went to the front, I need to put the A in the back. That's what I did by mistake. Okay. Select everything now. And now we have a cool font. Now remember, everything is not together. So we want to group our letters. So now we can work with it. Put it anywhere we want on the shirt. We can cut this out in vinyl. And I'll show you 
let's put a blue background around the lettering. I masked the blue is just to re represent the shirt. So we're going to put the blue layer, we're going to arrange it and bring it to the back. I just wanted to show you how that will work. All right, guys, that was the end of the tutorial. I know it was long. I apologize, but this was something somebody put up in a Facebook group and they wanted to learn how to do it. And I know how to do it. Been working with Illustrator for a long time. And I just wanted to show you how you can do a type effect like this. All right. You have a good day and God bless. You are welcome to join our Facebook group, the T-Shirt Game University. This is a group where we give a lot of information. We're not taking from you. We're giving to help you grow.